Basic principles of working with different types of edged weapons. Now you can use both hands. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. He's attacking me. I don't want to hurt you so that you don't need to go to hospital because you may be injured. Okay, when you're trying to do something like this, it won't work. Now, I'll do it slowly. You received a blow in the plane that he's attacking me. The purpose is not to receive it, but to feel what you can do here, to the left, to the right. What are the variations? It's not the case. You get such a situation and form it in the plane of the blade itself. The same with overbalancing. You must feel it. That's it. Don't abuse the angle. We are trying to keep the balance. Overbalancing is the same thing. Alexei Alexeyevich showed you. You press down. If the balance is to the front, so your task is to sit down and continue to work. The same here. But the pattern is different, because he strikes without putting his arm here. I pull it here. The point is not your arm that receives the blow, but the plane in which the object functions which the arm and the body function too. To make a combination, I pull here. I use my shoulders, feeling that it's not the arm that pulls in this case. You bring the whole process to this plane, then you can create something. You can form an angle according to what I feel and see. I strike him here, now I found the plane and work here. Don't look at the hand, look at the plane, work according to it, according to the plane of the object and the plane of the blow. Here you get it, form the trajectory of the object in the plane and try to get an advantage here. Then you may do what you can, if you get a possibility. I pull it here, it's formed, the amplitude works here too. 
He puts it here, but you're already waiting for it. You may move in both directions, there and there. Here it works, there it doesn't work. You get it here, Now that's the only way out. That's why there was a lot of practice with Alexei Alexeyevich when you discussed everything and worked on it. He will use hooks, sabers, and they'll let you improve your skills. It's impossible to do everything with a stick. The range of actions is too small. That's why you receive it in the plane of the object. Adding other aspects, I can take it like that. I prevented him from going there, but he wants to go that way. If he wants, let him. If he gets such a situation, I can pass him. But what's then? You can use either your arm or your leg, or use your elbow. It depends on the amplitude which he creates. Turn him to the trajectory, which is comfortable to you. He attacks. I do that and I'm already waiting. You may use the plane as a basis if you work with it. Use it. The actions with the object may vary, for example. It depends on the distance and our mutual actions. I meet him and watch where I can grip on him. Use the maximum amplitude, if it's possible. He attacks. I take it and press a little. I pressed it, now I can use the weight and he can be overturned. Rifle or stick? No difference. He attacks me. I receive the blow. Received. I don't parry it, but try to do something and look where I can divide it. I got it, several holds. Here you have a free space. He attacks me. I can do it like this, or from this side. Then I take his arm. I turn it, strike or stab. Then I can continue. Sometimes your objects have some hooks and so on. Use it when you can work. I can go there and then take him and that's it. No, no rules. I press him down, pull it to me, then again push it to take it. He attacks you, you open it. It depends on how you get it. And then accordingly, from above or upwards. You may use your knee if you can help it to reach something. The same here. You see it absolutely the same. You should combine different actions. Take it, stab it and turn it. Use every possibility. He attacks me.
You grip on him again and then you can work. I hold him here, you get the blow. When he works with his arms, try not to intervene. Watch what he's doing. If you disturb him, it may cause problems for you, which is not desirable. Now you watch and let him do his mistakes. He can stab himself. You may simply pass him to the other side. He attacks. Use your hands, the other, but try to keep the distance. Move without leaving the fulcrum and the leverage. To pass to the other state. If you're not sure what you're doing, pass him. Then you can do something else, something different. Here is the same. If it's too far, I don't feel the opportunity. I pass him. Pull him to yourself, then you may finish him. He's here, and you may use other possibilities. They both may do something. Here I use a spade, and I work with it. If you go around him, strike him at once. He goes there. I act like this to make it stronger, to raise it. You may use the handle itself. The moment of receiving is an action too. When I protect myself, I can find ways to act for the future. He's here. It's still active. You may do something with it. And it leads to other actions. He's here. The arm itself has no role. But you may strike upwards and downwards. I may use combinations where you may still use it or not. Here you grip on it. It moves here and you take it. The same with the spade. It may not be sharp, it may be used at random, so it's hard to find the position, even harder. You take it in the plane, and then you always work in this plane, because you can't come nearer. You don't use hands, but pull the spade, change it according to the situation.